their tournament at 27 and 7. So, Doug, as we look at South Dakota State, we know we expected Oral Roberts to come out of this conference. Didn't happen. Oral Roberts will now have to wait Selection Sunday. Probably doesn't look great for them. But when you look at this conference, how realistic is it to think that, that you know they can play with the big boys? Well, look, Nate Walters has the ability uh, to play with anyone in the country. They went into Washington and beat UW by 20 points. Handled, who was the Pac-12 champion, however down the Pac-12 is, uh, heck, it is a very difficult place to play. I, I still think Oral Roberts has got a great opportunity. We all fell in love with Drexel because they went 25-1. and one. But you look at Oral Roberts, and there's a team that had won 20 and 22 coming down the stretch. You look at these teams, there's a lot of discussion about how weak the bubble is. It is, in terms of the classic RPI top 50 wins, especially at the high major level, but the mid-major level, Iona's legit, Oral Roberts legit, Drexel's legit. All right, you can only take one because there's a good chance only one of the three, if any, are able to get in. And the biggest problem for all three, none of them play any more basketball games. So while these other teams from the Power Six are still playing, those three now have to sit and wait. If you can only take one, Doug, yeah. who you take? I'm going to take Oral Roberts because of the consistency by which they played in this conference. Very difficult travel conference, traveling to North and South Dakota. Uh, when you look at their last couple losses, one was out South Dakota State, of course, just won the league. The other one was Western Illinois by one point in the semifinals. It's a team that challenged themselves out of league. They played Xavier, and Xavier was down four men. It was their first game after the fight. That's not Oral Roberts' fault. They blew out that Xavier team. Lost to Gonzaga on the road right after that by six points. Lost by six points at West Virginia. Lost in a buzzer shot to UT San Antonio in a neutral side game at Oklahoma State. And I feel like Oral Roberts, if, if you, you're going to make the argument, do you reward a successful season or a mediocre season if you balance it out against an 8-10 and 10 in yep. Big Ten yep. play Northwestern team? I would put Oral Roberts in ahead of the other two because of how consistent they were in their league. Drexel's much the same way. I, I think Oral Roberts is a moderate from better. I think it's a good call. I think when you look at Drexel and what VCU did last year, VCU gets the automatic bid. I, I think there'll be a lot of folks yeah. clamoring to get Drexel into this tournament to see if we can do it two years in a row. You make a great point. Uh, Old Dominion also has been successful out of the CAA. George Mason, of course, went to the Final Four out of the CAA. And what happens, I understand we're supposed to go by the numbers, yep, yep. but there's still the human factor. And those of us who watch, we know it's still a, The Colonial was down this year, especially the bottom was, was very down. South Dakota State and Oral Roberts are two good, legit teams that can compete with the mid-level of the high major. No mid-major as successful the last two years as the Horizon because, of course, Butler back-to-back -back championship game.